It's time to catch a cheater. Only on the Jubal Show. Jeremiah is on the phone today for To Catch a Cheater. He thinks that his wife, Gretchen, of four years might be cheating. So we'll see if we can help him out. Jeremiah, what's going on, man? Why do you think your wife's cheating? My friend uh, told me about uh, two months ago that uh, he was at a, my friend was at a house party and quite a few people were there and he saw Gretchen there and uh, apparently she was wasted and all over some dude but my friend didn't know. Then he kind of saw them disappear towards the back of the house at one point and that was the last he saw of them. I, I mean, I would have been furious about like what's happening, but it's like my friend's kind of like a starter, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> He's always trying to like start. Shit. I don't know how, you know, hundred percent accurate it, it actually is, and he kind of enjoys just like messing around with people. That's why I never really like brought it up to her. Do you believe him at all then? If he's like that type of dude? Yeah, he kind of just starts. Shit. He always just makes shit up just to like get a rise out of people. But but lately things have kind of been off. I don't know. They haven't been the same. Um, sometimes she took she when she answers her phone, she like walks out the room, um, just acting weird, and then like comes back later. And like the other day, she had to like text something, and then she came back after she came, after just to text someone something. And I asked her about it, and she just said, she, "I'm just getting something from the room." That's every time she does. Every time she like. On her first, she's like, "Oh, I'm just going to sleep in the room every time." I'm like, "I find it really weird." Or she's like, "Oh, I'm just talking to my friend Rachel, and she's been helping. Uh, she's been helping me lately." That's what she keeps saying. So I don't know. It's always a random excuse, and I don't know. I'm not really buying it anymore. That's why I'm on the show. I mean, that would be alarming, I guess, if somebody plants in your head that your girl is cheating on you, and then she starts acting. Mm-hmm weird with her phone habits is there anything else that she's doing like is she cool with you no not really it's just like i don't know she's just been acting she's just bad I, I just things have been different in the last couple months and like and we've been been together for for four years mm, sure i actually picked out a ring already and i've been wanting to like mm. propose to her and i know she hasn't had the best track record for previous relationships and and I think she, she deserves to be with someone like that loves her and treats her right. And I know that's me. So, yeah, things have just been just really awkward lately, especially with the, her phone habits, the way she keeps walking out the room every time. Yeah, that's sketchy. A call or yeah. text. Did your friend say anything to her at that party? Like thinking all the way back, did he let her know that he was there or anything? No, he said he remained he remained kind of hidden and she didn't, didn't see him at all, but... <laughs> Um, Double O seven. I don't know. I honestly like <laughs> my friend is. He said this to like every once a month. He always makes something like this coming up. Like he just like, hey, well, guess what? I saw your friend. He kind of just does that, you know. Sounds like a friends. terrible He's friend. Like, friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone has one of those friends that you know. I mean, a sister. But I would also think that if you went to him and was like, "Listen, bro, I need you to be real with me right now, just so you can know what really happened." And he, yeah, he, he told me he saw her. He saw her was okay. drunk with some dude. So Okay. We'll see if we can catch her. If it was her, we'll play a song, come back, and then call her and pretend to be from the grocery store that she's a rewards card member at. And we'll say that every single month we choose one rewards card member who gets free, free flowers delivered from our floral department. And we'll see if she sends them to you or to somebody else, okay? Okay. All Thank right. you. Yeah, we'll play a song, come back, get your To Catch a Cheater next. If you're just joining us for To Catch a Cheater... Jeremiah's on the phone. He's been with his girlfriend, Gretchen, for four years, but now he thinks that she might be cheating. So in a second, we're going to call her, pretend to be from the grocery store that she's a rewards card member at and say that every single month we choose one rewards card member at random who gets free flowers delivered from our floral department. And we'll see if she sends those to Jeremiah or somebody else. But first, Jeremiah, why don't you catch everybody up on what's happening? My girl has been uh, has been acting weird lately. She's been... Um getting calls and texts and going answering them in the other room and saying I'm going to have something to do in the other room. And I have a friend that says he saw her a few months back uh, at a house party all drunk, dancing with all over some dude. All right. That's definitely not good. You ready for us to call her? Yeah. Okay, here we go.
Hi, this is Corbin calling from I was looking for a rewards card member named Gretchen. Oh, that's, well, that's me. Hi, Gretchen. Please don't hang up. This is not a marketing phone call. I'm actually calling to say congratulations. You're this must big winner. You're kidding. Oh, my God. I, I never win. I never win anything. Well, you did today, right. so you can't say that anymore, I guess. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. What what exactly did I win? Is it like a gift card or what is it? <laughs> well, it kind of is up to you, I guess. So every single month we choose one rewards card member at random who gets free flowers delivered from our floral department. You've won 36 long stem red roses, a box of candy or chocolate, and a card to be delivered to anybody that you want. Uh, if you don't want to do flowers for whatever reason, we can also deliver gift cards at the same value. You know what? I already know who I want to send the roses to. I, okay, I have great. A, a wonderful, yeah, I have a wonderful, yeah. Okay, first thing I would need would be the first and the last name of the person that you would like to send them to. Okay, Rachel. Okay, and would you like to put anything on a card? Yes. Um, uh, thank you for helping me out with this. Still in shock. Not ready to be a mom. Exclamation point. Okay. Okay, so you got a bun in the oven, huh? Well, it's kind of shocking to me. <laughs> it's news to me. But, um, yeah, yeah it's, uh, yeah, it's true. I'll tell you what, when the time comes, you'll be ready. I know that. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. I, I didn't know I really wanted this, but I do. I do. Well, congratulations. And I should also let you know that this is not the grocery store. This is actually the Jubal Show. It's a radio show. My name is Jubal. Yeah, hi, I'm Nina. Hi, and I'm Victoria. Oh, no. Oh, no. We do a segment on the show where if you think your significant other might be cheating, you try to see if they're messing around by who they send flowers to. And your boyfriend, Jeremiah, is actually on the phone. Oh, what? No. You're pregnant? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You're pregnant? I just found out. I just found out. I just found out. Okay? Oh, my I God. Mean, this is amazing. Yeah. It, I mean, is, how, it is amazing. How, 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 how long have you known? Like... Well, when, I just when, found I out. Mean, what do you plan on Tolly, babe? What's, what's going on? We've been so lucky, actually, to never get pregnant. I think it's a miracle that I did. Um, but there's a uh, wrinkle as to how this happened. And, um, oh, brother, I, I just found out a couple of days ago, actually. And, and I don't know when I was going to tell you because I... I'm so sorry. I thought you were cheating. I'm so sorry. Like I, I know you never do that. I'm so sorry. Well, well, I, I just, I have to now tell you, I have been seeing somebody. I have been seeing someone else. Oh, damn. Yikes. Yeah. What? And, and, yeah. I, I, it just happened. It just happened. It's this guy from work and we've just been hitting it off and, and having some fun and having some laughs and having some drinks and, and, uh, actually, I never even thought you wanted to be a father. I, I know we've been together four years. We've never even talked about having a family or having a baby. I, I so you wait, know, wait, wait, you what? You've been cheating on me, and you another guy got you pregnant. What? It is forget about me being a father. A, what you've been you've been this long? What? It, it's a total surprise. I um. Yeah, it's not a total surprise you got pregnant when you've been sleeping with someone else. Mm. What do you mean it's a surprise? Are you guys even wearing protection? You and your coworker? I, like, what are you I talking honestly, about? I didn't think I could even get pregnant. That's why I, I'm looking at this. It's kind of a... Well, it sounds a, like you did. Nothing. Well, I guess what? I, well, guess what? I know you're looking. You're looking at the front door now, and that's it. You're 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 you're, you're look out the house. So I don't know what your what your plan is about this. And I, I used to like this. I, is this guy gonna like be there for you? And do, do you, how much did you think about this? Like, it, what? How long you were planning this? Like, oh, Jer, were you I really, starting a I family had... without me and while we were living together? It wasn't planned. I didn't plan it. I, it's. I have always felt like this need and well if it wasn't a plan it was definitely avoidable it's easy yeah. to avoid to get uh, pregnant from your co-workers like <laughs> what are you talking about it wasn't planned you know this is not I like going to adopt I... a dog I didn't think I could even get pregnant frankly well, we weren't exactly not, not an excuse that has something to do with cheating though 
You thought it was okay to cheat on me because because you couldn't get pregnant. Like really? No. Like no, guess what? No, you are no. now. Oh no, I didn't think it was okay. I just wanted something of my own. I just I don't even what? I don't even want him. I I haven't this even is told a human him yet, life. Actually. Okay, it's a baby. Like what do you? What? Yeah, I get that. I totally get that. Something that that's for me, that needs me, that I can take care of and I can raise and that I can show a great life to. And I don't need you and and I don't need him either for that matter. This is about me, okay? Try to get that through your head. She hung up, Jeremiah. What was that? Wow. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say. Obviously, it's not the situation you were meant to be in. No, and at least you know this now before you spend all that money on a ring. I mean, I already bought the ring, so. But. Before you gave it to her. Yeah. Take, yes. <laughs> did you give it to her? You didn't give it to her, right? No, I did. I did it. I mean, I do love her, so like, I, I didn't. I didn't give it to her yet, though. Use that ring to give yourself a vacation and go yeah. get accidentally pregnant. Uh, <laughs> 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 the Jubal shows to catch a cheater.